Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Playing with style. After we tested this L23 from Lacoste, I kept thinking, that's like a pure drive. The specs are like a pure drive. I thought it played like a pure drive. Might as well test it against a pure drive. Stay tuned. Hey guys, do you need help organizing your tennis life? Well, think go! We got the Axiom line here, the 9-pack Duffel, my favorite bag, the 9-pack Axiom 2.0. They even make a 12-pack if you're going on tour. And my favorite backpack of all time. I love that bag. So if you want to organize your tennis life, think go. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Jim Joswiak. Jim, J-I-M, Joswiak, J-O-Z-W-I-A-K. Jim writes, at 70, came back to tennis three years ago after 35-year layoff. Love absorbing great information about everything tennis, and you're my go-to guy for strings. Keep up the fantastic content. Oh, thank you, Jim. Um, I appreciate, hey, I appreciate that you're 70 years old, still on the court and wanting to, to play. I mean, I hope I'm still standing at 70 years old. So I admire you. Thank you for coming back to the game and, uh, you know, and uh, maybe learning a little bit of something from me. So I'm, I'm happy to help and I'm glad you're playing. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to just hook up the channel, super thanks is the way. Link is below. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to Jim. Oh, oh, Jim, thank you for all those coffees, actually. I'm looking at it right now. All right, Jim, so thinking about this Lacoste L23 since we play tested it, and I kept thinking, I wonder if that's a pure drive. I wonder if that's a pure drive. We all gave it a pure drive example, but we all said it felt like a pure drive. So why not go on the court with it and take a pure drive with us too and see how close they are? I mean, I was just perusing the uh, specs on the Lacoste when we were playtesting. I was like, looks like pure drive specs. So I strung them both the same. Obviously, we're going to keep that confidential at 52. But let's look at the numbers here. Pure drive is 11.2 ounces, which is 318. Lacoste is 11.1, .1, which is 315. The balance, 330 versus 328. Swing weight, 320 versus 318. Now, this is where I was a little concerned about. 71 is probably st the stiffest in its class. 69 is right there, though. So it should be very, very close. The other thing I like to look at is the beam. The pure drive beam is 23 millimeters, 26 millimeters, back to 23. This one is 23, 25, 23. So the thing that I'm a little worried about is that 25, which is going to flex a little bit more and it's going to be a little softer there. Um, but it should be right there though. Well, I guess proof is in the pudding. Um, let's get on the court and see if they're similar.
All right, just finished up Lacoste versus Babolat Pure Drive, Ford versus Ferrari. Coach Jared, tell me your thoughts. Yeah, so the first thing that came to mind is the uh, Lacoste rack. It definitely looks like the Pure Drive. So you got the thick beam, uh, 100 square inch head size, and I will say the emerald paint job on this thing does look awesome. Um, unfortunately, I think that's where everything kind of went a little bit downhill for me. Um, when I first hit the stick, I feel like it was definitely a lot more flexible than the Pure Drive, but at the same time, I don't think it really offered enough pop uh, for my liking for at least a 100 square inch head size racket. Um, it was a little bit unstable in certain areas. I'd say when hard shots kind of came at me, I had a hard time, I'd say, pushing the ball back. And then you definitely have to swing out with the Lacoste frame to get the ball pretty much past the service line. So ultimately, um, yeah, I mean, it was a cool play test. Definitely a fun racket to test since I've never actually tried a Lacoste frame. But unfortunately, uh, not something I'd probably play with. All right, so so much for playing with style on that one. Um, Coach Rob, your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts. I'd never played with a Lacoste either, and so it was really interesting to try it. Uh, interesting um, feel to it. It wasn't as stiff as the Pure Drive, I didn't think, um, when we were hitting with them. But it, my ball didn't seem to go as far or as deep, didn't have the same uh, um, pop as some of the other rackets, but it felt pretty good. Um, Swing weight felt pretty good, and um, yeah, it was interesting to uh, to play with the Lacoste. Never tried it in all my years. How close to this racket was it? Um, weight kind of seemed similar, but the weight of shot wasn't the same. Yeah, it wasn't quite the same. So at it least was, I didn't. So it needed to be stiffer. Maybe a little bit to be, you know, or maybe throw some weight on there to let it up a little bit. If that might have changed it a little bit, if you were trying to, I don't know if the specs are exactly the same. Specs but are exactly the same, wow. except yeah. for the except for the flex. Except for the flex. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So what I felt was this did flex, flex, flex. It did plow, but then when the ball hit it, it flexed, and I was like, oh, that's weird. It flexed, and then the ball left. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Um, when I switched to the pure drive, it felt like a pure drive. It was just stiff. You know, it hit it. It barely flexed. The ball took off. You got power. Um, I mean, I thought this would be more similar, but upon hitting it is where the differences kind of come in. And if you want a little more control, um, get this one. If you want a little more power and your traditional stiffness, get this one. This will be probably better on your arm, though, I have to say. Absolutely. Yeah. So, but I would say a little more control, a little more depth here. Um, I mean, it's like the specs and, and the stiffness is kind of, the stiffness is where it kind of ends. So, um, if you want to play with style, go here. If you want to just play, go here. All right. Guys, here, huh? Pure drive. Pure drive for me, at least. So we're going Ford, because this is Ferrari. Okay. <laughs> like Ford. No, no Lamborghini? <laughs> nah. Okay. Okay. Do the French make a car? Not that I know. Peugeot? Or is that... Oh. Oh, it's Peugeot. Yeah. I know it's Maybe. Peugeot French. Peugeot still around? Fiat. Fiat? Some, I'm sure someone Maybe will tell not. us we're wrong. Anyways. But. Anyways. Um, thank you, Coach Rob. Sure. Coach Rob's not on social media and don't want to talk to you, but <laughs> Coach Jared is. Coach Jared, where can they find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.